thought long and hard about how to explain what I do because how do you explain a problem which nobody knew they had? So I decided to go about by introducing first a case study. A few days ago, someone came to see me. And this person, um, this person have a problem, right? And, and when I say problem, it can be anything. This is just a typical example. It can be uh, fat loss, it can be have health problems, maybe have issues, maybe they want to uh, overcome a certain plateau in their strength performance, um, whatever it is, athletic field of your choice. So this person that came to me, she actually has a problem with losing weight. Now, uh, she's tried everything, and I mean everything. So at first, she's tried slimming pills, and then when that didn't work, she went into slimming centers, and when that didn't work, she did like one of those super low calories detox diets, and that didn't work for a, didn't work for a time, and then it come back on, and then she tried this, and she tried that, and then eventually she became serious. She started to do like, very interesting the life cycle of people who are in fitness. They just simply try everything, and then after that, uh, they decided to um, get serious, and they started to learn, right? So she learned, 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 learned and she started to do counting macro, counting her calories, counting macro, my fitness pal, you guys know that. So, and she started incorporating many, many kinds of uh, exercises and training on top of her routine. She started to do cardio, and cardio didn't work, she started to do abs, it didn't work, and then she started to uh, do HIIT, and started to do follow video workouts and so on. So every time, every time this happened, she will see some results, and then she will come back even worse, and then she will see some results, and then come back even worse. This is what we call the yo-yo effect. So, um, and, and the final time that she had attempted, before she came and see me, so frustrated and so angry at herself, uh, she actually tried the, the most serious approach of all, everything which is by, I mean, scientifically, okay, very good, okay? But she hated every single moment of it. And at one point, she even, she was even so proud of her achievement, like she lost 10 kilos. I mean, she's, she's already slim. So she posted up a photo of herself and everyone, oh, wow, you lost so much. Um, and um, over the next one or two years, she regained everything back, and she felt so ashamed of herself for that. So, the reason why I want to I want to bring this up is because all of these things actually caused by uh, several reasons only. It's actually not not very complicated. Okay, so I want to explain to you why it didn't work. Okay, so reason number one is because there was no resistance training. Resistance training is. Uh, basically something which is short in duration, okay, very heavy, so like as an example, you see someone doing a squat, okay, very heavy weight, it is like 10 squats, and then uh, he put back the weight, because he, it is impossible, physically impossible for them to do 11. So short duration with a longer rep, rest, rest time and a very heavy uh, muscle contraction, okay? And the reason why resistance training is important is because it levels up your strength, it makes you stronger. And why giving, getting, up, getting stronger is so important, which is often uh, oversight is that a lot of people think that fitness is all about burning fat. It's not. It's about building. It's about building your fitness for permanent, long term, a lifetime of success. Leveling up your strength so that, um, and that, in, that which accomplishes two things increases your basal metabolic rate, how much calories you burn in 24 hours without doing anything. Imagine every single year burning more and more calories without doing anything rather than every single year burning less and less calories and having to diet more and having cardio more. Second thing, Work capacity. So work capacity means uh, how much, uh, basically, how much calories you you can burn within one hour, uh, within a single workout session. A lot of times, oh, you do my workout, you will burn like one thousand calories. That's yes, because why? The instructor may burn one thousand calories, but if you are new, you probably burn. You you be lucky if you burn like two hundred calories, three hundred calories. So cardio doesn't work for that because of that. Number two, assessment. So assessment is basically, in the fitness world, we use assessment to determine the right kind of vehicle, the right kind of program for you to follow, and the right kind of system. So it's basically like this, you want to go, you want to, go to Penang from KL, right? You, if you hit south, no matter how fast you drive, you'll never hit, you'll never hit Penang. Because you can identify what is the right kind of vehicle. So uh, what I, have a, I, have a, I have a very interesting metaphor to you explain this. To say that, hey, you want to burn fat? Okay, come, uh, join my fat loss program. Hey, you want to uh, build muscle? Come, join my building muscle program. Without any form of assessment, either behaviorally or physically, it's like having a nice car, Bugatti Veyron, and trying to cross an ocean with it. <laughs> okay. So no assessment. She just did simply do whatever it is, and as a result, she spent every year 10k, every single year. And then, and then when she came and see me, she's like, hey, Felix, if this doesn't work, I am quitting for good. And it saddens me, it saddens me, because every single time something like this happens, uh, because of the yo-yo effect, um, they get so dejected that they give up for the rest of their life. 
finally behavioral psychology so it's more like it's instead of trying to force yourself to do things because by default we will always naturally revert to doing the things which we like rather than the things that we need logically right so instead of um, changing forcing yourself to do certain things you actually have to change your perception and mindset about exercise when I, when I talk to people exercise the first thing they think about is pain when you talk to people who see results when you say exercise they say the, the, the first thing that comes to mind is pleasure reward badass positive connotations right so willpower <laughs> What is BTS? BTS is, a, is, a, is what I use to describe a training system that doesn't work. It stands for bullshit training system. <laughs> <clears throat> and how do you identify a bullshit training system, which is also the same way you guys can use to, to, to refer me, is asking these few questions. How is it working for you? So uh, if I say you, whatever it is you've been doing and it's like, how is it working for you? It's like, oh, I saw results for a time. That means it's not working for you. Second question, what prevents you from continuing it? You know what? Uh, I want to do this training, uh, but um, life, huh? Oh, I want to do this training, but work, but family, but study, but this, but that. Well, true matter is training system must be catered to your lifestyle. If it doesn't cater to your lifestyle, then it is not your training system. It's just someone else's training system. So, because all of the things that I mentioned is life. Life happens. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta create. You gotta plan uh, with the provision that life is gonna happen to you. Third question: Will you be proud showing it to others? So there are certain unhealthy, uh, unhealthy things which is happening, which happened before when it comes to transformation. I'm talking about bulimia, right? I'm talking about anorexia, right? I'm talking about steroids. I'm talking about a lot of things. A lot of, a lot of things that people are, they, they do, but they like to do it in the dark. Fourth and final question. How do you feel doing it? Do you feel like, do you like it? Do you feel good doing it? Do you feel empowered doing it? And does it make you feel like? <laughs> so, how are we different? We are not fitness freaks. A lot of people say, hey Felix, you don't, you don't look buff. Hey, it's just precisely why I'm the right person for you. Because I understand, because fitness is not my number one priority. It's certainly not even in my top five priority. And yet I'm able to achieve this, this result because I work smart, not because I work hard. We try to improve more than we try to prove. A lot of people, they try to, they try to prove. Uh, I have a saying, professionals, uh, amateurs tell. They like to tell you things. Hey, you need to work out. Hey, you need to take care of this. Hey, you need to do that. Hey, you need to do this. Professionals ask, professionals like myself, yeah. I ask, hey, how is it working for you? And so what if I tell you that none of this is new? Everything that I said isn't exactly new. It's been around for decades and decades and decades, but because it is not marketable, it is not sexy. So a lot of people, they try to come up with new, new and different ways to reiterate the very same thing, which, uh, which makes what, what, what works. So here's my, here's my first thing now. So, why no before after again? Yeah? So you like people like people ask like, hey, why you don't have before after? Because I don't believe in before after. Because before after doesn't doesn't I like I can appreciate it, I like seeing it, but it doesn't show you exactly how long does someone sustain results. And the WTF number two, why you no muscle, Felix? Why you are a fitness trainer, you should have six pack abs. You should have like 50 inch uh, chest, right? You got like 60 inch shoulders. <laughs> it's precisely because I because fitness is not my priority. A lot of people like ask me, "Hey, Felix, are you a fitness freak? Or you must be, uh, you must be working out like six days a week." Or? True, the matter is, I'm not a fitness freak. I don't work out six days a week. I train like two, three times, half an hour. <laughs> That's all I do because for me, my business is more important, right? And I'm sure that for all of you, it's quite the same. Who over here likes to train like twice a day for six days a week? No one. So that is all. So you're telling me I can ask questions and I want to open the fourth questions now. Thank you.